Ring the dinner bell for Trout, Kokanee, and Landlock Kings with Kel Kellogg's Willow Leaf Dodgers. Available in mini and magnum sizes at fishhuntshoot.com. Get yours today. guys, Kel Kellogg here. You read the title to this video correctly, Drought Trout, and uh, that's ultimately what I'm going to talk about, trout fishing and landlocked salmon fishing during a drought. Um, I actually came up with that title, Drought Trout, the last time we had drought-like conditions here in Northern California when I was working for the Fish Different magazine, but the, uh, the publisher kind of canned that title because we didn't use the D word. We had to keep it positive because you know we were worried about losing advertising well here on my youtube channel i would rather be truthful than positive and this video is going to be oh probably three quarters positive and one quarter negative because we are in a drought um i was watching the local uh sacramento news the other night and they were out at folsom lake um interviewing people and you know folsom's really low and uh the consensus seemed to be is people would say something like well I sure hope the water level comes up. Well, why would it? I mean, where were you this winter? Did you live in California? It didn't rain. It barely snowed. We had, you know, virtually no winter. So where would the water come from to fill the lake up? We can debate water exports and all that. But the bottom line is we are in a drought. Um, it's more severe down south than it is up north. But even, you know, best case scenario in far northern California, they only got Got about 71 percent of the uh, average precipitation total which is you know we're in a drought there's no getting around it now droughts big picture on a drought droughts are very negative and and the primary negative about drought conditions is fish reproduction you know spawning um, reproduction is going to be down this spring all the way from the mountains you know the wild trout holdover trout spawning in tributaries all the way down to the delta, the striper spawn, sturgeon spawn, it even affects reproduction of fish like California halibut and the rockfish off, off, you know, off the coast, as well as salmon, of course, because they they do their thing up in the up in the tributaries, up in the rivers, up in the Sacramento, and uh, you know, feather and stuff like that. So reproduction is going to be down this spring, and I think you know, sturgeon are a great example of that. It takes a sturgeon from you know from being spawned. It takes them about 12 years to reach the 40 inch minimum size where anglers can keep them. And uh, you know, sturgeon reproduction is going to be horrible this spring. They, they spawn in the spring, and you know, 12 years from now, there are going to be less keeper sturgeon than there would be if this was a wet year or even an average year. So, big picture, droughts are very negative. But the footage you saw at the beginning of this video, I shot that footage the last time there was a drought. Me and uh, Vance Staplin and a DFW biologist, we went up to Stampede Reservoir. It was horrendously low, and as you can see, we had great trout action and kokanee action when we, when we finally got the boat in the water. So, the positives associated with droughts, short term. Fishing during a drought is typically very, very good. Why? Well, one, the water level's down, the fish are concentrated, and any time the fish are concentrated, it's easier for us anglers to get at them. That's one. 
Two, fish tend to get bigger during a drought for the same reason it's easier for us to catch them, it's easier for them to catch their prey. You know, the prey is concentrated, whether we're talking bait fish or plankton or whatever they're feeding on, it's concentrated, they have an easier time finding a meal and they tend to get larger when that situation occurs. Third, um, water clarity tends to decline during drought conditions because the nutrients in any given body of water are concentrated. That makes for murky water and anytime the water is not crystal clear, the advantage tips in favor of the angler because the fish just don't get as good a look at their offerings as they might if you know, when the water is clear. So those are three distinct positives that we're gonna experience this summer and fall on our lakes. We're gonna find bigger fish, we're gonna find easier to catch fish because they're more concentrated, and we're gonna find off-color water, which is gonna give us the advantage when it comes to hooking those larger than average fish. Um, another negative that we need to consider is boat launching. You know, at the big impoundments, places like Shasta, people that plan those lakes, they were aware of the cyclic, you know, nature of California winters and uh, they planned ahead. They realized those lakes were gonna be drawn down and uh, they tend to have pretty good boat launching facilities even when the lakes are down a significant amount. At the smaller impoundments, the high mountain lakes, the foothill you know, lakes, the, the smaller stuff, it's gonna be a lot more challenging. Now, the big boaters out there, you guys are probably gonna need to stick with the larger lakes or you're gonna have to utilize four wheel drive and a lot of common sense when it comes to dropping your boats off the shore at, at foothill and mountain lakes, the smaller, the smaller bodies of water. Us guys that fish from kayaks, canoes, car top craft, and stuff like that, we're gonna have a field day. We're gonna have a lot of water, uh, you know, to access, and we're not gonna have a lot of competition in terms of the big boats, the trailer boats. Um, we're gonna be able to get those crafts, you know, the canoes, the kayaks, car toppers. We're gonna be able to get them into water, and when we do get them into water, we're gonna find a lot of nice, hungry, unpressured fish so you know bottom line is don't write off the season because we're having drought conditions the fishing is going to be very very good anglers always overcome we love a challenge we're going to overcome the launching challenge even if it means fishing off the bank bank fishing is going to be exceptional this fall it's going to be very very good the fish once again they're going to be concentrated we're going to get to see the structure that we seldom see the time to really start worrying is if next winter is as poor as this winter. We need a wet winter and uh, I don't want to be in a climate change debate here. In fact, I'm not getting in a climate change debate here, but I'm a guy that watches the weather, weather very closely. California is an arid state and we've always had dry periods and we've always had droughts. I am worried that we are moving into a more arid pattern where rather than the dry years being the anomaly, wet years seem to be coming the anomaly at least over the last 15 years or so but we will see 15 years in the in the big picture is just a very tiny 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 snapshot in time so i don't think we can make any real judgments but i got my fingers crossed that that the 21 22 winter is going to be very wet our lakes are going to fill we're going to be back on track but uh, i could tell you from experience having lived in california my whole life and having fished through several different droughts um the fishing is going to be very good this summer it's going to be very good this fall and uh, you got to get out there get after those fish overcome the challenges of getting your watercraft on the water and uh, you are going to be yelling fish on i guarantee it that day we went up to stampede the kokanee were significantly bigger than they had been in previous years we were catching trout and the water was very murky i put a gopro under the water and it was very hard to get underwater footage that day simply because the nutrients in the lake were so concentrated and uh, that made for bigger easier to catch kokanee and uh, we were happy guys i remember we had to put the truck in four wheel drive to get fans this big old north river boat into the water that day but once we were we were afloat it was fish on baby anyway those are my thoughts about the drought drought trout and salmon too i'll catch you next time right here on youtube if you're looking for gear you know where to go fishhuntshoot.com there you'll find all the gear you see me using here on the channel stuff that catches fish at a very fair price thanks for all the support hit that subscribe button and i will catch you next time right here on the fish hunt shoot productions youtube channel on youtube i'm cal kellogg